Okay, so here's what happens when we have a sticky brake. Sticky brake will stop the barrel abruptly and cause the barrel to crack and leak. And so that's the problem we have with this one. So what has happened is right in here is the brake. And this brake has become stiff and stops the barrel abruptly when the machine stops. You'll hear a loud clunk when the machine stops. And what has happened is it stopped so abruptly that it's caused these little catches here to crack and then it will leak from there. And so to fix this ideally you'd want to uh, pull the ba basket out, seal the crack from the inside and the outside. And you can seal it with this goop or E6000. You want to use the automotive goop um, or yeah that's probably the best thing to do. Um, this stuff here is very sticky. It's kind of a sticky substance that will stick to the crack. Rather than having to replace this barrel, you can see the mineral trails here. Rather than having to replace that whole barrel, the easiest thing would be to patch this. And once again, you can temporarily patch it here. I don't know how long it will last on the outside patch, but ideally you'd want to patch the outside and the inside. When you patch the inside, you have to remove the agitator, the basket, this top, and pull that basket out. And then you can get to the bottom here and see the crack and then um, repair the crack from the inside as well as the outside. Okay, I'm having a hard time getting this one apart, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch it from the bottom. Uh, I'm not only going to goop it, uh, I'm going to put a patch on it. So, it will be patched. And we have the automotive goop we're going to use for this patch on the bottom. Okay, so, I actually cut this one back so it doesn't get in the way again. And then once we lube the brake up in here, it shouldn't be uh, banging against that thing anymore. And so, yeah, that's, that's the quick fix right there. And so I use this flexible plastic. Um, that's what I use to do the patches. You can use probably something similar as long as it's waterproof. You always want to rough it up real good and then goop both sides. Okay, so here is the here is the brake lube right here. So you want to stick a couple of drops in there, right behind that spring. And be careful not to get any on this. You want it back in there on this bell here. And then spin this around a few times so that that oil gets in there and doesn't lock up when it stops. And that's the trick to saving your barrel if your machine clunks abruptly when it stops. You might want to do that a couple of times and, and that way you make sure that that thing is not going to stop abruptly. And that's your washing machine tip for today. I give phone advice for $25. You can call me 707-443-8347 Pacific Time. Thanks for watching.